Welcome back, everybody, to Western Mass News on this Monday morning. Don Maher, Jordan McCool, Taylor Jacobs. Hope you all had a great weekend. It was pretty seasonable weather. I enjoyed it. Was. It. it was a really great weekend. Nice yeah. weather for sure. Mm -hmm, yeah, it was shaped out. I was at a wedding um, and, and it, we thought it was going to be cloudy all day Saturday and then suddenly the sun sun broke through. And it, it was gorgeous. It, it took time for that sun yes. to break through, but once it did, it actually turned out to be rather nice out there. I wish I could say the same for today, though. Mm. Yeah, not going to be the greatest start to our work week, though I think the steadiest of the rain is going to fall this morning. As we get on into the afternoon, we'll deal with some drizzle, perhaps some showers, some areas of fog. So the day is not going to be a washout. But if you are getting ready to head out the door this morning, you're going to want to grab that umbrella because we do have some light, even moderate main rainfall that is moving through. Right now we're coming in at 44 here in Springfield. The wind's currently out of the east at 5 miles per hour. We'll see winds east-northeasterly at around 3 to 6. So the wind's really not going to be too much of a factor as the day goes on. But you can see temperatures, western mass, 30s and 40s, 42 Great Barrington, 41 Pittsfield, 43 in North Adams, mainly in the 40s throughout much of southern New England. The exception, Chatham, out on the Cape, currently coming in at 51 degrees. So a damp start to our work week. Also to watch for a little bit of fog that may develop as the day goes on. Now we'll see a cold front come through tonight. That will bring the chance for some showers. And then after midnight, we'll begin to gradually dry things out. Tuesday, Wednesday look dry. There may be a spot shower around here tomorrow, but for many of us, I think it is going to be a dry day. And then more rain headed our way as we head on into Thursday, Thursday night, and into Friday, as we may get involved with some of the remnants of what is now a tropical storm, Zeta, which has its eye on the Gulf Coast once again later in the week. But as far as the next three days are concerned for us, some drizzle fog by the afternoon. We're in the lower 50s, and then we're dry Tuesday, Wednesday. We could see some sunshine mixing in around here tomorrow afternoon, and then a mixture of sunshine and clouds coming our way on Wednesday. Temperatures once again mainly in the lower and middle 50s, and then rain coming our way for Thursday, Thursday night and into Friday. Right now, though, as we head towards the weekend, it looks like we will once again begin to dry things out. But on the satellite and radar, you can see we do have some light rain shower activity that is moving through the region this morning, moving from southwest to northeast. Actually, the area of low pressure well to our south, cold front off to our west. That's going to come through as we head on into tonight. That will once again bring the chance for a few showers with it. But as I roll future cast forward, you can see as we start to get towards the afternoon, we're dealing mainly with just some clouds, drizzle, perhaps a few showers. There will be some dry times in here as well. So the day is not a washout. In fact, here's the evening commute. You can see really not picking up on much on future cast. The chance for showers will exist though as we head through tonight as that cold front begins to approach. But after midnight, we should begin to dry things out. Mainly cloudy skies coming our way on Tuesday. Those like we will work in some breaks of sun. So Tuesday looks mainly dry and then Wednesday looks mainly dry. And then things will get interesting as we head towards the end of the week as it looks like a soaking rainfall could be headed our way with the remnants of Zeta approaching. And as that system works through, it is going to pull down some colder air as we head through Thursday night into Friday. In fact, could we be talking about some flakes mixing in in the higher elevations as we head towards Friday morning? Well, it's several days out but something we'll certainly be keeping an eye on. That's your forecast, everyone. Have a great morning. Jordan, Taylor, back over to you.